What's up guys? So we don't have like a hundred percent road mapped out episode for you all this week. It's gonna be kind of interesting. I think we're gonna call it the dog vlog. So it's just gonna be kind of like random little bits and pieces throughout the week. It's literally Sunday right now. The last Super Cooper just went up, the one with the dog wash. And uh, right now we are taking Mocha out for his very first boat ride. I don't even think he knows that we're out in the middle of the lake yet, but uh, we were gonna take the boys out too. It's like 95 degrees and super humid right now. Chelsea just got back from Disney, what'd they say? What happened? They weren't even letting our outdoor cast members work outside. So that's, that's how hot it is. Mocha's okay because we can dip him down in the water super easy. We've got a little bowl for him. I think if we had all the boys out here at the same time, it'd be a little bit too much. We'd get overheated and stuff. So we're just gonna take it easy, take a little cruise, let Mocha get to know the boat life and uh, this is the start of the week. We'll see what happens. What do you think about this, buddy? Oh my goodness, look at all the things we can see. Those people are tubing. You gonna let us take them tubing one day? Sure. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Cooper kind of liked tubing. Maybe we could do a tubing episode. Looks like those people are having fun. What's up, Mocha? Are you going swimming? Ready to go. He's definitely getting a little hot, so we're gonna see if we can kind of like pass him down, let him get wet, swim around a little bit. He learned a couple weeks ago, so hopefully he's okay. Ready? Good boy. There he is. Go, Mocha, go. Go, Mocha, go. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, I gotcha. Oh, man. <laughs> what happened, Mocha? Mocha, come here. Come here, buddy. Come on, go, boy. Go, buddy, go. Hello. That was good. Go back. Come on. Good boy. Go, Mocha, go. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I didn't think he was actually going to come. I didn't think. I'm impressed. You're such a strong swimmer. Mocha, come here. Good boy. Come on. He pushes off from me. Go, go, go. He's so cute. Oh, good boy. You're doing it, Mocha. Better than Coda. He doesn't look so uncomfortable now either. Go for it. Go, go, go. I want to show you guys something. I had to show this to you guys. So we recorded that episode using the, the custom dog bath a couple of days ago. And uh, you guys know, we de-shedded Coda out on the dock. We still have his hair attached to the pontoon here. There's a giant shred hanging on. We've done a lap and a half around the lake. There's no way this is still hanging on. That is so ridiculous. That's so gross. No matter what, he's always with us. Always. He'll never leave us behind. No. Hey girl, I'm just a small town running around. I get my kicks out. You wanna drive? Just having a little cuddle session with him. We're hanging out. He's <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. His little tail is going so fast. Good boy. You like swimming? Yes, you do. Peekaboo! We just found out that Mocha does not like when she goes in the water now. Peekaboo! He's trying to escape Trevor. <laughs> What's she doing? Think Where's that lady going? Where's she going? Is she leaving you? Are you tired? It's time to pull the anchor up. Gonna find out what we caught today. What'd you get me? Oh, yes. Yes. Lots of seaweed. A snack. Ew. Moko, what do you Ew. think? What is that? Does it smell weird? Sometimes this stuff smells really, really bad. This time it's not so bad. Here we go, buddy. We're driving the boat. Woo! Does that feel good? His tail's wagging. Good boy, you're driving the boat. Look at this. There's a in the boat. Good boy. His face looks like he feels a little nervous, sir. A little nervous. Well, I was nervous the first time I drove a boat, too. I also wasn't like six months old. We have a good boy alert to share with you guys. He got off the boat and then he peed. He didn't pee on the boat. I'm honestly kind of impressed. He did a good job. And there's Cooper up there. He's not happy with us. I think we're gonna have to take him back out later on this week when it cools down. Tomorrow's gonna be super hot again. Maybe like a nighttime cruise. There we go. That's that's smart. Honestly, 
with Mocha, it was like, it was borderline. Like we had a decent amount of water for him. If he couldn't have swam, there's no way he would have made it. We no, still had to come, we came back after two laps of the lake, which normally we go out way longer. It's just way too hot right now, it's so. too hot for people. <laughs> right? Oh my goodness. What does this house look like during the day on average? Well, this right here. So Chelsea is working a really, really long day today. She's working, I think, close to 12 hours, which is kind of crazy. She's been gone since early morning. She won't be home till late tonight. And this is always what happens. If she's home, Cooper follows her around all day. If she's not, he'll lay there or here. And Coda always lays in the middle of the house where he can see both the back door and the front door. And uh, this is kind of what we're doing. I've been recording videos. Actually, the day you guys are watching this is the day that we're gonna leave to go on another cruise. We're working with Royal Caribbean for the first time ever, which is awesome, and we're gonna bring you guys some more vlogs. It's gonna be crazy. But uh, I'm really hungry right now. Coda's really tired. I'm really hungry, so I'm about to go get some food, and that means I'm gonna take the boys potty. Let's go potty. Let's go potty, go potty, go potty, go potty. It's a rainy potty, Coda. You gotta be quick. You gotta be fast. He doesn't really like the rain. <laughs> Look at this, you can see the blue sky over there. This is Florida, people. Hey, I know you didn't go. Go potty. Go potty. Gosh, you really have to force him to go sometimes. It's like he doesn't want to take the time. There we go, he's finally, he's in the potty movement. All right, Coda, good job, go inside. You wouldn't have to shake if you would just get out of the rain, doofus. Good boy. You about done, buddy? There it is. Good boy. Come on. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Hurry up. Hurry up. We don't like the rain. That's honestly probably going to be our major exciting moment of the day. Literally, I'm going to be recording videos all day long. So uh, I'm going to record when Chelsea gets home. We'll get the little homecoming. You guys will see how excited they get. But just want to keep you guys updated. Like I said, this is literally going to be like a random dog vlog, random stuff throughout the week. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. All right, guys. So it's 9.30 p.m. Really, it's been raining all day. It just stopped raining not too long ago. Coop and Coda are just kind of chilling, just hanging out. This is most of what we've done today. But Chelsea is about five or so minutes away from home. She's going to be pulling up any second now. And we're going to get their reaction. They're both looking at me like, what do you want? What do you want us to do? What are you doing, Coop? Wagging you your little tail? <laughs> so cute. Oh, go to here's her. She just pulled in. Uh oh. The party's about to start. Here we go. Oh goodness, the party is starting. Gotta check, make sure it's her. Oh, Coop's so excited. <laughs> This is so cute. I've never been on this side of the door when this happens. She's home! Woo! Dispense because she's home. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No, he's peeing. Peeing because mom's home. Peeing because mom's home. Woo! Wrong way, Coop. It's just so exciting. He just couldn't hold it in any longer. So the day is just about done. We're, uh, we're ready to go to bed chill out, relax a little bit, but the most important part of the day is when we have to use the D word. That's the most exciting part of the day, right, Coda? It's the D word, right? Hey, Coda, do you want dinner? I don't even have to call Cooper's name. He hears the D word, and he comes running. Dinner? What do you think? Do you want dinner? My goodness, Coop, you act like you've never been fed before. We feed them in these dog bowls because it slows them down a little bit so they don't eat too fast and get bloated or anything. Cooper's the main one that needs it. Coda doesn't actually need it that much. And then we keep their food in these containers. Hold on, I'll open them up. This is Coop's side. He has like a real chicken blend type deal. And then this is Coda's side. I think his is supposed to be like salmon and sweet potato or something. But that's where we put them. We just scoop them out into the bowls and we're good to go. Well, I thought we were leaving. I'm sorry, I cannot. We're recording a vlog for the vlog channel. It's <laughs> And he, he is literally like on the front half of her feet. I can't Coop, move. Will you please let her go? No. <laughs> please let her please go, Coop. Please let the troll under the bridge. Now it may not pass until belly rubs. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give it to him, man. I think he's earned it. A Good cool. boy. He's so mad. <laughs> now can we leave? Okay. Good boy. 
So we just got back from a crazy session on the Flowrider. It's gonna be a vlog, it might already be up. If it is, I'll let you guys know on screen and link it down in the description, but uh, it may not be up yet, but it's basically like a surfing simulator. It's insane. We're both super, super tired. We had to wake up early to get there, and Chelsea was sleeping almost the entire ride home. So I almost guarantee her and Cooper are taking a nap right now. It's about 1 p.m. Coop, good boy, you're napping, your favorite thing. Good boy. Yep. Mm -hmm. She's tired, isn't she? Mm -hmm. You keep her good company, okay? Be a good boy, you're a good nap buddy. That dog absolutely loves that bed. He actually gets cranky and will get like noticeably irritable if you don't spend enough time with him in it. Like if you don't give him like an extra hour after waking up to hang out and cuddle and stuff. So he's getting his day in. We were up fairly late last night and then I had to wake up at four o'clock this morning, actually more like 3.30 for a Fortnite update. Been grinding videos all morning, it's now 10 a.m. I think these two are finally up because I got the text that asked if I wanted snuggles. And this is a daily occurrence, it's the best part. I get up early, I get work done for a couple hours and then I get to crawl back in the bed and we get snuggled. Look how excited he is about cuddling. We were just talking about this. Like he literally, if you don't lay with him long enough during the day in bed, he just gets very, very upset. That's all day long. He'll get cranky and he'll, he'll like not listen. It'll make him be more naughty. He just, he needs this time. He just wants to feel nice and well rested. He loves having snuggles. What's up, what are you doing? <laughs> Look at his little tail, it's just going, I can feel it. Good boy, what do you think, do you see yourself? <laughs> you do. <laughs> He's just standing on top of us. Poopy. Okay, Poopy. This, this is every morning. I promise you guys, this is not planned. I, I, I told him to go lay down, and he laid on me. I can't, he's like hushing me. I promise that was not planned. Come here, I have to show you something, come here. I can't believe it. I can't believe it, Coop. I just can't believe it. Come on, we're going downstairs. I, I'm in shock. You gotta see it to believe it. I, I seriously, I, I don't even know what to say. Go look at my office. I just left my office. Cooper has been with us upstairs the entire time. I was 100% sure that Cooper was the mystery pooper. A poop. It's Coda. You poop? It's been Coda the entire time. But it can't be Coda the entire time. How? Because it's happened when Coda's been in his kennel. You guys are a team. They're a team of mystery poopers? Most of you, I'm sure, keep up with the series and stuff. Basically, for the past couple of months, somebody's been pooping in my office, especially at times like when we go do something, like we leave the house or we leave on the boat or something and the boys aren't invited. So we always thought it was Cooper just because it seems like something Cooper would do. But this was 100% Coda. There's nobody else it could have been. I literally just left the office, went upstairs and cuddled with you guys. Came back down and it's here. Doing the poop party. Yeah, I pooped. <laughs> I cannot believe it. He's not allowed in my office. <laughs> no. Poo on you. <laughs> just go to the garage and tell me if you see anything amiss. I just unlocked the garage door, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Poo and when? Because I just unlocked the door. Cooper, he doesn't open doors. But the door was locked. Coda is on a tear. Are you serious? <laughs> but when did they do it? No way. Can you tell me about your problems, Coda? So you just couldn't let yourself out? So what you are your problems? Hey. What are your problems? Are you just feeling very, very underappreciated At lately? He let himself in the garage. Oh, look. Who did that? Weird. Coda, you're lucky you're cute. Pooping all over the house. Asking for water, shedding like crazy. By the way, we vacuumed yesterday. This is just what happens. You are unbelievable, sir, but you're cute and we still love you. Well, boys, unfortunately, I think we failed you. Let's go down to the dock. Big jump, Coop, good boy. No swimming. No swimming, Coop. Do you guys want to go for a boat ride? You would like a boat ride? No swimming, Coop. No swimming. Chelsea, are you seeing this right now? Do you see? It's up under our dock. That is ridiculous. It's literally up. Uh, no, 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 no. It's literally like three or four inches. 
Oh Look my gosh. Boat is. Yeah, uh, it's the boat eventually is going to end up touching the top. If it goes up another like eight to ten inches. Normally, I have to jump down, to, like jump to get onto the skis. And right. There I have to it's step above up. it. Koopy no. It's Koopy above no. it. <laughs> Look at Coop checking it out. All right, guys. So we totally wanted to bring them on a little boat ride this week. We know you guys have been asking for it. You guys know we started this episode, we did a boat ride with Mocha, but it was way too hot for them. And we were planning on doing it any other day of this week. It's been like five or six days since we did Mocha now. Not a single day has worked. It was really hot for a couple of days. It was like 95 to 100 degrees plus. And then every day since then, it's been raining nonstop. And now... Like, huge rain, guys. Like, it's rushing like a river down the roads it's coming in under the doors like it's really seriously crazy and that's why this water's so high like let me show you again this water is literally up to the dock our dock is one of the tallest docks on the lake some of the docks over here are actually completely submerged and what happens is when you run a boat on the water it creates waves obviously and those waves will go up underneath the dock and they'll destroy it it'll start like pulling up the boards and, and all kinds of stuff like that yeah. so all of our neighbors are like you can't take your boats out right now even though it's a nice night tonight and there's beautiful weather and it feels good out here and it'd be a great boat night we literally we cannot take the boat out there was somebody today that posted on the facebook they're like hey can we go out for just like a couple of sets for wakeboarding and they were like no you're gonna get sued for property damage and all this other stuff so people are really pissed off there's no way we want to be those neighbors so unfortunately i don't think we're going on the boat coop. Not going swimming either no swimming coop no Sorry. swimming no boats you can't make any waves we don't want you to tear up the neighbor's docks We've mentioned this in a couple of other videos on this channel as well as in the vlog channel. We're getting ready to go on a cruise with Royal Caribbean. So if you guys are subscribed to the vlog channel, that's exciting. It's going to be happening this week, so it's going to be good stuff. When we get back, hopefully we'll have some decent weather. We'll be able to record like a boating swimming episode for next weekend. But we get back on Friday, so I don't know how much time. Like if it's bad weather, there's nothing we can do. So we'll see what happens. But I promise you guys sometime in the next couple of weeks, we will definitely have a boating and swimming episode. Because a lot of people... for evaporation. A lot of people want to see that, dance. right? Yeah, we need this water to disappear so we can actually <laughs> use the boat. But uh, there we have it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Coop, you stay being a good boy. You are so cute right now. <laughs> I love you, buddy. He really thinks he's going. Coda, better be careful. You might, <laughs> you might <laughs> fall in. <laughs> this is so crazy. Like his hind leg is almost in the water, and he's on top of the dock. That is just nuts. All right, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. We're gonna see you guys later. Bit of a random episode. Let us know if you guys like this sort of thing. Peace out.